This is our problem. We're just not cool. Or is it? We're just too hot. <laughs> I'm serious, guys. We never get invited to parties. People don't say hi to us in the corridors. And lately, sometimes people even call me a geek to my face. And for what? I'm not stupid. It's fine. I don't need to study. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, so it's basically about um, two teenagers who they happen to meet at a party and what follows is that innocent, kind of naive friendship and sort of relationship that comes when you're 16. And it's looking at how, when you're 16 years old, you feel like the world is ending because you've got GCSEs to study for, you've got all these issues that go on at school. Mm -hmm. And at that age, it's kind of do or die, really. Um, yeah. So it's all the sort of innocent issues that um, teenagers have to go through. Yeah. And, and, yeah. Yeah. and Anna, why did you decide to write, write something like this? Um, well, we were kind of wanted to do something based on stuff we knew well, and um, at the time, like we just finished school and we were kind of still going through or had just gone through all of that. So um, I wanted to write a romance. Um, so it's quite a nice time, like your first love and first kiss. And we went to an all girls school, so quite a lot of it, like the girls' story, is about like not knowing any boys and like being desperate to have your first kiss. Mm -hmm. And then when the girl meets um, James's character then it's like the first boy she's ever met. So <laughs> some of it is kind of the comedy of that as well. Yeah. And so Hilary and Anna, you're both is that sisters, correct? Yeah. 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 You know, what was it like collaborating together on this film? Um, it's yeah, it's been really good. Like honestly, we we are so um, aligned in our view of everything because we, we grew up together and we have all the same experiences and we wrote it together as well. So it's sort of like by the time it came to making it, we were so like we kind of think the same way about it, so um, I don't know. We wouldn't really be able to do it without each other, I think. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. And it was first uh, played at the London Independent Film Festival last yeah. year. Yep. What was it like to have it uh, on show to quite a lot of people? Scary. Scary. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nerve wracking. Nerve wracking. Yeah. Have your face in front of <laughs> so a, many people. However big a cinema screen is, um, you know. Um, but it was great because we had a really good turnout and um, yeah, yeah, it's really nice like for the first time watching it with like a big audience laughing along with it and like Sort of getting stressed about stuff and you can really feel everyone reacting to it in a way that we'd never yeah. felt before because this is our first film and mm. Yeah, it was a really nice experience. Yeah, well, it's kind of like a roller coaster ride a bit. Like you're like, oh my god, every scene you're kind of like clinging on, just like going through. <laughs> it. Gripping the really scene. Fun. How <laughs> you gonna like it? It's really yeah. interesting as an actor as well because um, I was watching it and then I, I was like, oh, I forgot I did that scene. Like that's a really good scene. So it's things that jump back at you, which is really nice. Yeah, and what was the reception like from the film festival? Oh, it's really great. Yeah, I think like. Especially, like we were saying, like with an audience, like people laugh a lot more, and mm. that's kind of fun to see. Um, so yeah, that was yeah, that was really good. Yeah, we won yeah. we won an award, so that was good. Yeah. And, yeah uh, what award did you win? And it's like best micro budget feature. Nice. Yeah. What, what what was it like being on a micro budget for a film like this? Um, pretty oh. pretty crazy, I guess. Like, <laughs> yeah. Quite tight schedule, yeah. and uh, and like yeah, quite kind of putting strings in every way, like just trying to make it work. Yeah. yeah. There's um, a lot of like guerrilla. Um, a really gorilla stuff, film, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Getting moved along by the police. Like, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, or like uh, we shot a scene on a bus. Um, well, actually, I wasn't there for that day, but oh, yeah. That scene. <laughs> yeah, go on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, was, um, that was a tricky scene because we just got a bus back and forth for like all night, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, to get the whole scene in. Oh, so. Wow. And you have to deal with all the regulars and all the drunk people that come on yeah. bus at late at night. So yeah, all the difficulties of London. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, are, are you all from, not filming? Are you all from London? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah. what was it like uh, having this set in London as you're all Londoners as well? Ah, so I'm not um, actually a Londoner. Oh, right. No, I've just moved to London. So I'm from Reading normally. Okay. Close. Um, right. Yeah. <laughs> Close Outskirts, <laughs> isn't it? Um, so for me, it was my yeah first experience filming in London. Um, and yeah, it was, it was just it was busy, but um, everyone sort of took it in their stride, didn't they? So yeah, yeah. I feel like they will become Londoners when they move to London anyway, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, I guess because it was set in the school. Actually, we filmed it in the school that we went to, so it was very real to life. Um, yeah, almost creepily sometimes. Now, some people might say this film, the storyline, is like some others. What sets it apart from other films that people might see? Uh, you know, on Netflix or, uh, you know, cinemas around the country? Um, I think it's pretty realistic. I mean, I guess, yeah, there are quite a lot of realistic teen films out there, but I think it's definitely, like, 
kind of the fact that like the things that they're worried about are so like minuscule, mm -hmm. um, I think it's quite true to life. Yeah. It's quite feel good as well. I think as a kind of I feel like there are a lot of the coming of age films set in England. They're often quite like gritty and telling like um, a story that yeah I guess that's like different to this. This one's kind of like quite feel good like comedy. Kind of yeah. light-hearted, yeah. It's yeah. just the whole naivety of like the friendship and the romance is just <coughs> yeah. really genuine. Yeah, I think. Yeah, and and the premiere is in a few weeks. Can you tell people where it's going to be? Yeah. yeah. So fourteenth uh, of March at the Prince Charles Cinema in Leicester Square. Yeah, we're really excited for it. 